Good morning, gamers. How we do it, everybody? Welcome to Necromancy. Oh, man. Wait, am I not listed as a streamer who's racing? Wait, they didn't list me. Live stream calendar. Micro Wugawazi, Cash, Crystal, Iron Axe, Stormy, Marmar. Okay, I have been slighted. I'm ab that is disrespectful. They're Poker the Bear. Y'all have never seen Ryan the Bear, but you're about to see Ryan the Bear. I can't believe this. I'm so excited. Oh, these next like two weeks are gonna be the most fun two weeks in four, in three, in two, in one. And it's necromancy time. Holy moly. Also, something I want to say as we get into necromancy, I just want to quickly say, please be nice to the streamers and the devs. All right. I know people care a lot about the race. I know a lot of people are cheering for me. I do not want to see any of you guys crashing other people who are racing. I just wanted to mention that right now. I don't want to see any of it. I think that's that's totally underhanded. Let the race be as fair as possible. Be polite, be respectful as much as humanly possible to everybody, the devs, the other competitors. I just want to quickly say like, dude, let us have some fun, all right? That's it. Can I get an hour early start? Cause I'm wearing a splint. <laughs> Tutorial started? <gasps> Hacker man? Hold. 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 Oh my God, we're here. Bro, oh, one key. Stop, 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 stop. All right, let's go. All right, welcome to Necromancy. Accept the quest. Dude, the new death's office looks so dope. It's actually so sick. Also, 10 minutes into the stream, anyone in chat who says they're ahead of me gets banned permanently. Dude, this was me last night cleaning my room for the last time in two weeks. I got the vacuum cleaner out and everything. I was like, dude, this space is gonna be awful very soon. Wait, I did an incense. Wait, I'm actually the worst racer ever. I fixed it. Okay, soul got drawn to the wall of souls. Huge, that's level two. Like, chat, we're almost done. Dude, it's actually huge. Look at the pace, man. Nobody's got pace like this. Oh my god, it's so laggy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Can you teach me any prayers? There we go, perfect. So, I think what I want to do is, I think I want to do some rituals. Yeah, killing stuff will be faster. Bones are in the storage, which is great. Ritual chest is there. Is there not a bank here? I guess there isn't. And then the task set is really important too. Uh, the task set offers a lot of buffs. So why don't we actually get level 24 for the task set? So let's hit one more ritual and then I'll go kill stuff. Yeah, so just remember that these rituals, everyone has to do them. You can either do them later or earlier, um, but they will improve your XP gain too. Open up the ritual chest. Oh, I got a memento. Wait, wait. That's needed for, um, they're tradable? Wait, wait, if the mementos are tradable, there's a task that requires using a memento. So we use the memento, but we need to buy mementos. Okay, big, that was one of the achievements we needed. That's actually amazing that we got that done. This is so fast <laughs> on the early levels. This is nuts. I can't remember what these do, but we, wait, what do we want for these? I got this, I got this, I got this. You want multiply and speed. So does commune do anything? Elemental do anything. It doesn't say, I don't like that it doesn't say what they do, but so now I can claim my necroplasm, right? Yeah, sweet. And then craft with the necroplasm to make ink. Wait, vial of water. Oh, vial of water. Yikes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the bank. Do I know where the viewpoint is? I don't, but I'm assuming it's like down that way, maybe. I don't know. Craft ghostly ink while I'm in the city of um, Sweet. Oh, this is the regular ink. Is the regular ink good? Diary worth doing? I think it is. And then I have to kill a skeleton with a skeleton. Manage well souls. So I have 18. What do I need for the next tier? More info. So I need tier two talents, level 20. And to get tier two talents, I need 50 vessel souls. And I currently have 18. Command skeleton warrior. Okay. And then vengeful ghost as a fake contribution to zombie. Yeah, I feel like these are going to be more worth later, actually. Yeah, I don't want to do rituals now. I think I definitely want to kill stuff. Okay. So let's plan to do... Why was the Achilles Row Quest on my list of things to do? Anybody know? Oh, for the weapon upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do Achilles Row right now then. Yeah, of course. Dude, that's why I couldn't hit the Banshees. I was using level 10. Yeah, yeah. Under a skeleton while fighting a skeleton. Beautiful. Let's get a weapon upgrade. Let's do the Achilles Row Quest. Climb the stairs, building by the clock tower. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's stairs. Oh yeah, this is looking really good. Okay, done. That's easy task complete. 
Okay, let's collect our easy task reward. I just ran out of run energy in RuneScape 3. That is so hard to do. I need necromancer robes first. That's annoying. So I've got my set now, beautiful. Then chance again with the bad equipment you have. Okay, cool. I can just try to upgrade it. Beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm also hungry. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, kill your quest complete. Rune Mythos quest complete. Huge. And I've got a new incantation that teleports me to the ritual site, which is awesome. And it just takes uh, spirit runes. Sweet. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, cool. So we can confirm that daily challenges do not, in fact, do anything or work. Yeah, trying to like properly titrate. Look at this XP rate. Wait, I'm getting 77k XP an hour right now. That is actually solid. Yeah, the black crystal tech is really good. And then I just need to keep putting this on and taking it off again to reset my boost. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So early game necromancy training tip. The dominion marker will boost your stats by 15, which is way better than an overload. Um, and then another tip is the berserk blood essence will activate anytime you take damage. And if you're using um, the black crystal, you're constantly taking damage as you soul split. It just, it seems like that's a really, really effective way to get a lot of juice going. Level 42. Bit of a pace if you ask me. 100k XP an hour, no problem. I also like that it's not super active either. Like the more I think about it, Revo being available is probably not the worst thing ever. All right, that's 50 Necromancy. 200k XP an hour is so sick at this level. Why am I going to the max guild? What is wrong with me? Something scared all the fishes away. Wait, what do I do? Wait, chat, where are Mogers? Wiki Moger. Also, Mudskipper Melody is a banger. Wait, what the crap? Do I have to do the mini quest? What's the mini quest? What's it called? Dude, also annoying that they didn't say what it was. I can make up for this lost time by just being built different. Bro, Skippy, where are you at, bro? Oh, hi, Skippy. Uh, this is a classic RS guy moment. That's the whole mini quest. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> That really was the whole mini quest. Okay, we're good, we're, we're good. Yeah, dude, the sleep deprived questing stream was actually useful. This actually gave me the knowledge we needed. All right, let's go. I do like the integration into the rest of RuneScape though. Like, I think that's cool. I am actually going dry on flippers. Okay, I got them. Oh my God. There we go. Oh, it takes three per? I can't believe this. That is level 51 necromancy. We are absolutely yoked. Wait, my multiply is depleted. Fix it, fix it, fix it. I can't because I start. Also, is there a way to check how if Wise is working? That is level 60 necromancy coming in. Okay, we've just unlocked so much stuff. I think we need to go back to um. Let's get it. This would be a really good tip if this actually works. Oh my God, it does. So I can overload boost for multiply too. Hello, Frank. All right, so the medium task reward is as follows. Daily supply of baby dragon bones, ink, and ritual candles. And I got the Tome of them too, which is extra necroplasm. Cool. Yeah, so far though, what do you guys think of the necromancy release? I mean, we haven't even accessed most of the quests, most of the bosses. I think it's really cool. The abilities look so good. They look like so much fun. I I'm loving it so far. I just, uh, I think the devs kind of outdid themselves making something like this. This is like, it's such a big content release too. It's so much bigger than, than anything else that we've really seen before. Shakes a bit more aggressively. Okay, so I need to keep going until the boss spawns. Got it. Nearly shakes out of your hand. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, it's the boss! We got the Anku boss. All right, let's go. Oh wait, I'm blocking him. <laughs> this is such a skill issue. <laughs> Actually safe spotted. But yeah, look at me, people. Oh, and the servers seem good too. That is level 61 necromancy. Wow. Ritual Randall coming in with a big level. So four more levels until the boss. Gonna right click and inspect all that looking. 1439 souls. So we're almost halfway to Hermod, the first boss. We're gonna find your leveling notes. Uh, okay, get ready to take a screenshot. That is level 62 necromancy. Three levels until Hermod. And we're also unlocking the Spectral Scythe ability, which is going to be extremely important all the way up with the skill. Harmonic Plate is untradeable. So here's the thing. So thematically, I actually love this. And here's why. The boss is going to be easy. It's like a Vindictive Tier boss. So that's fine, right? There's no issue there. But the thing that makes a lot of sense about it is this. 
Necromancy's entire story is about working your way up to defeat the first necromancer and his lieutenant. As part of your story and upgrading your gear, they actually want you to kill his lieutenant. It kind of makes perfect sense. First off, that is level 63. Necromancy coming in. Ugh. My soul. It burns. <laughs> Explain it to me like I'm a TikToker. Okay. Um, I got you. Okay, so Necromancy is a brand new combat style released into RuneScape on August 7th, 2023. What you need to make sure that you do is do the quests and kill the... You know what? Day seven. I'll be impressionable enough. You guys can be like, can you do an NPC stream, please, with Subway Surface on the bottom and Minecraft on the top? And I'll be like, me. All right. All right. New job for the editor. <laughs> Nathan, turn it into a TikTok. No, don't actually, please. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be getting 300k XP an hour doing this. That seems fine. That's one level. One more level till the boss. Karen? Oh, Karen. Pog. All right, let's go. Wait, I'm gonna die with this invent, but whatever. We'll go in, we'll go no food, we'll go no food. We're fine. Let's go, accept the quest, the spirit of war. Let's go, can I surge? Oh, he can too. Okay, so I'm looking for lost souls along the river. This is so cool. It's gonna ferry me to Raziel's place. Okay, shall we depart? Yes, I would love to. Oh, sh it's Raziel. There's no bank? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's fine. He called me an idiot. <gasps> okay, he says, when he says, or, you die. I'm kidding. Let's go, Hermod. Come at me, bro. You ain't got nothing on this. Gur, what does Gur mean? Ha! Okay, so Gur and Arg means move. Wait, you just go in a circle. I got this. Oh yeah, dude, I'm a master of mechanics. I have mastered Herbalod. Oh yeah, we know foodies any day of the week. Oh, he's immune. He summoned armored phantoms. Okay, so now I need to use AOE necromancy abilities. Get clapped, idiots. Oh, we got another one. His attacks look so sick. And I've got a 100% hit chance too. Ready? See you, idiot. First Herbalod kill. You have so much to learn. He's coming back. Small victory today. Don't bore me until you're truly ready. All right, is that quest complete? All right. Quest complete, Spirit of War, so we can now kill Hermod. All right, what do you got, Free Blast? First Hermod kill in the books. Locked and loaded. All right, what do I get? A hundred elemental animus nodes. Wait, but I need 15 plates to make the gear. Oh man, okay. So can I Threads of Fate and then Volley of Souls? Bang, whoo! Okay, that's the way to do that. Okay, that's by far the easiest way to do that. Like, if I were making a guide, I would say Threads of Fate and then Volley of Souls. And it just one-shots them. Is there a hard mode? Oh, just say normal. Maybe there is a hard mode. No hard mode, just a hard mod. Oh, I got plates! How many? Just one? Oh man, that's gonna be a grind. So we're gonna have to get 30. And also, 67 necromancy coming in, not bad. Also, chat, we've got a new video, a City of Um Achievement Diary Guide. Wait, can we make React content to our own video? Uh, command, edit, new vid, City of Um. Actually, no, no, no. I'll make a new command. Command, add, diary guide. This is my complete guide to the Um City Achievement diaries oh my god i just tried to do it in omid's chat wait tie me out i am so sorry now it looks like i plugged my guide in his chat omid he's not at his desk mods mods help mods mods thank you okay jesus <laughs> he's gonna be so mad wait what just happened <laughs> nothing what the Nothing, nothing. Why? Aren't uh, you streaming? Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. I'm so sorry. Did you just <laughs> advertise in my chat? No, I meant to do it in mine. With Necromancy um, fresh out of the oven, already we've got tired. a ton of guides and tutorials. He's watching my and video. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through. Barov!
<laughs> How are you making content right now? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Wait, so he's walking through the ritual site like that and people are clicking on him? Holy crap! Wait, the zombie just blew up! He blew up like 20 of them! Yeah, I just love how simple the rotation is. Dude, RuneScape combat is, is never going to be the same after this. This is so cool. That's level 69 and another talent point as well. Huge. Let's get level 70 so we get some upgrades. Wait, why is everybody spamming nice? It's about to be level 70 necromancy 10 hours after launch. Kaboom. That's level 70 done. Awesome. Absolutely sick. <gasps> Good grief. With the tier 70 weapons, what do I need? Oh, just bars. Sweet. Okay. I actually pre-made the bars because I am a little extra. So we actually have them already. So let's get our tier 70 weapons right now. That is a tier 70 lantern. That is a tier 70 death guard. And now we can augment them too. And we've got our perks. Okay. And then for perks, the best in slot is... E4, R3, and Aftershock 4, Precise 2. Okay, so the Skull gets Aftershock 4, Precise 2. The Lantern gets E4, R3. And we've got Perks! Percolating Parry! Okay, give me five Multiply Glyphs. Because that should be... I should get three for this. Oh, I need two Elemental 1 and one... Okay. I can't do five. I can only do four. That's okay. Elemental 1. If this works, this would be really hype. This would save a ton of time. I've got four. Four Glyphs right now. Look at all my soul attraction. All right, let's see if this works. Please give me two. Please give me two. I give me two! That is the RS guy difference. This was a kiln preset I pre-made. Activate Panth. Surely we take a Blood Reaver. And we can dart Harakin, right? I think we can. It's fight kill time. So I've got a list of which waves I'm supposed to do with each combat style. So I Necro one to five, quick play. All right, wave five is done. Magic for six and seven. So if you're wondering why I'm tribriding, you only have to do more necromancy waves than any other one. So it's by far more efficient to use a, a maxed out combat style for the waves that you can. So magic for wave nine and wave 10. But yeah, it's on my screen on the top right. So if you want to take like a screenshot of it or anything, you can, it's available. Okay, so now I'm back on necromancy for 11 to 13. And dart you. That feels so weird to chuck darts like that, but whatever, man. What else am I going to do with them? All right, so whenever Harakin comes up, we're going to dart him too. And then we're out of here. Oh, turn off auto retaliate. Do not waste a dart on a tentacle. That would not be good. Easy. My invent's full. Wait, wait, what happens if your invent's full? Surely it goes to the bank. Drops to ground. Okay, that's fine. The Calmor. Return to us when you can accept it. Okay, that's fine. It gets elked. That's fine. Okay. Give me the more. Beautiful. A beautiful necromancy cape. Okay, sweet. So now we get the juice. Okay, so I have to break it and then recombine them. Okay, let's go. Dismantle. Igneous Calmor. Melee cape. Magic cape. Range cape. And the old magic cape is now the necromancy one. That's level 71. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm so laggy. Oh no, the servers are, are dying. I repeat, the servers are dying. Whoever at Jagex is pedaling the bike, the stationary bike that runs the servers, you got this. I believe in you. I only need like nine more days, all right? Beasts are 85, okay. So no, you'd have to be like super, super end game for them. Uh, what do we think about our current XP rate though? Are we content with 620K? I don't think it's worth the time to look for something else. I think the best I'm going to find is going to be like 700k. How long am I going today? As as long as I feel good. That's 74 necromancy coming in, and we're 10 minutes away from 75. What's the reverse setup? Uh, it's just zombie and scythe are the most important ones. I'm playing around with having death skulls third, because like it does one shot six zombies, right? And you have to, wait, that's so cool. It just flies around and then kills everything. So, like, I feel like it is good, but it does cost a lot of adrenaline. So I'm, like, just trying to ape out a lot. But right now, I think armored zombies are... I mean, I'm, I'm getting a consistent 660k XP an hour right now. So if we did this all the way to 200 mil, 
I would die. Because <laughs> I'm not sitting here for, for 13 straight days. But the idea is cool. How much XP is 8 or 90? Also, we now have Living Death, level 76 Necromancy. I think that's the last ability unlock. Wait, that's really cool. Okay, I will probably never be casting it. Um... Because from an adrenaline standpoint, you if you're doing it correctly, I don't think you'll ever have adren for it, but wait, this might be our, our living death? Go! Yes! Okay, I have to I hate to say it. He just looks like an Anku. That is 78 coming in. Huge level, two more to go. That is level 79 necromancy coming in. It's absolutely huge. One more level until we get our tier 80 gear. And then we really need to figure out our next training spot. I think I'm gonna be too strong for training here. That is level 80 necromancy coming in. It's a huge day. Did I sleep yet? What, it's only been 13 hours. Okay, hey, ready? Dude, I'm like not even dented at all. Wait, wait, do I actually have to kill the God Wars generals? Shoot, task list. Each of the four God Wars dungeon altars. Wait, wait, I'm pretty sure I have the totem. And you guys made fun of me. Yup, total of intimidation. This is why we prep. Wait, it stopped. Oh. Wait, you can melee her? Kriara with the scythe. I don't know how canon that is. Thank you for the prime sub. The bearded biker, I appreciate it. What necromancy am I? 80. So that's a tier 80 skull lantern. And it keeps the perks, right? Please? It does, dude. Whatever mod coded this, give them a raise. This is so sick. Like, why wasn't archaeology like this? This is so good. 800k XP an hour. <gasps> Wait, with no armor, I'm fine. 500 reaver scrolls won't last long. Yeah, that's true. I can buy more though. I have like 150,000 reaver scrolls. 830k XP right now. Threads of fate and then spec. Ready? <gasps> that 12k to everything. Okay, threads of. Threads of Fate Death Guard is ridiculously strong. I'm getting a million XP an hour right now. That's level 81 Necromancy. My XP just went up by 30k. Wait, I'm actually a chef right now. We are in the kitchen. Yams are going everywhere. Yeah, that's the only problem is the Chaos LA's Wander range is like just ever so slightly in range. Wait, wait, Threads of Fate and then bang. <gasps> Get one shot, idiot. <laughs> bang it's insane necromancy okay but think about this this is basically just how good it feels to not have hit caps that's like really all we're all we're really investigating here is that like how unfun hit caps truly are <gasps> oh my god it's scrolls he does have scrolls oh no oh my god um shit Why did I pick the smallest pet in the game? Wait for it. Oh, we're good. Okay, he's doing it now. <laughs> that's level 84. We keep going. Three active conjures. Oh, that's cool. Okay, but no, on, on a serious note, both of my hands are super messed up. So the opportunity to migrate a bind to my feet was actually a good, smart thing. So yes, I bought a singular foot pedal just for Vol bombs. I am actually, I think I'm doing really well so far. I had a lot of fun today, right? I went to the boss early. We discovered a bunch of stuff. Like, I feel like I've had a really good time. Tier 90 is going to require an ambi kill with the weapons? Wait, does that mean we're going to EV3? I think Omid's ahead of me by a lot, actually. Well, actually, I don't know how many souls he has, but assuming he's got the weapons done and the armor done, that's level 86 necromancy. All right, four more levels. Let's go. Time for the 86. Yeah, he's 200k ahead of me. That's fine. That's like 15 minutes. You know what? I was gonna grab aggro pots anyway. Let's go. Let's lobby. All right, chat. I want screenshots in the Discord. All right. This is the only time I'm ever gonna be rank one on the high scores. This is never gonna happen ever again. Okay. Oh my god, I'm rank one on the high scores. <laughs> uh, <laughs> former rank one. Museum High Scores, Overlord, Grand Champion, <laughs> Locked and Cocked. The former is, is what really takes that to the next level. <laughs> Chaos Ellie, you stupid! Do you know who I am? Do you have any idea who I am? I used to be rank one. Yeah, I get 16k, dumbass. That's level 87 Necromancy. And we keep pushing. Rick SH passed me. <laughs> I go, who? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is a character I could really get into. You said Omen's AFK getting one mil, so I checked, and it's him not fighting back as a bunch of abyssal demons just <laughs> Okay, I think we're fine. All right, I don't think we need to worry about Omen anymore. I'm also, I'm actually kind of surprised, but I think it might be that Conjures, is it possible that Conjures can't crit? Because Omid's got a Calgal and an Aggrol too. Like he should be getting way more XP than me, but I'm actually, I'm getting 220k more XP per hour than him right now. Like I'm actually, uh, I am pushing a crazy amount of damage right now. What am I looking at? You're looking at 88 Necromancy is what you're looking at. Yeah, like I think from, from tomorrow morning on, you're just gonna get crashed and griefed every two seconds. Like, it'll be really frustrating. That's level 89. And we're still going in one sitting. All right, Necromancy came out today. And we're level 90. Just a spirited performance. 50 souls from a powerful communion? Or do a soul reaper? <gasps> okay, what do I need? Oh, Jesus. Blueberry pie that doesn't exist. Twin Furies. Helwer. Greg. Vindy. Jad. One Rex, one Telus, one Ambi. Oh, really? So the power gear's better. Oh my god. The tank gear's way worse. You can cancel. That's really good to know. Thank you, Glue. Okay, this is so cool. I love this leveling experience. This is way easier. Greater insult cloth. Okay, so how do I get a greater insult cloth? Subjugation? Okay. So I need my cloth and then my to-do list. Greater insult cloth on the corpse of Raxi. I think I can dart Tarek it too. Alright, first off, Rax kill. I don't think I have to worry about AoE much. Like Soul Scythe is so good. Oh my that's for water trio 83. I would love to. Oh it's gonna trio 83 with me! Oh yeah, I don't have armor. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I'm like, wow, why am I taking so much damage? This cloth, Araxi's corpse. Beautiful. I don't know who's doing all the damage, but I know it's not me. It's Duty. It's Duty. Yeah, is he cracked? Yeah, Duty is really good. At everything. These clue scrollers are kind of built different. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh, wait, we need stuns. <gasps> Where is it? Soul Strike. Which one is it? I got it. I got it. Soul Strike. Oh my god, team! Wait. <laughs> wait. There's multiple. Stuff, yeah, yeah, you just stand under and it blocks all of them. Oh, yeah, I got I it. <laughs> all right, we got this team. Bang, did we get it? Oh, Ulfven Necroplasm. Yep, that's it. All Huge, right. big day 56% hit chance. <gasps> Wait, I actually can't hit. Wait, EOF spec, go. <laughs> 21k, dude. Necromancy has some juiced abilities. Got it. Huge. It's invisible. Okay, it's teaching new players how to use area loops. Huh. Okay, how do I make tier 90? Wait, I wonder if I can go from tier 80 to tier 90 power gear. Wait, wait, let me look. That's a tier 90 skull lantern. Dude, look how cool the icon is. And a tier 90 death guard. Someone came into my world, dropped a pineapple, and left. Huge. So what I'm thinking is... That's level 91 necromancy. Let's keep pushing. And the doctor misclicked with the injection and rammed a needle directly into my bone. <laughs> Which was cool. That's level 92. We are halfway to 99. Except we're actually way over halfway because we've done all the incantations and dumb stuff over the last 20 hours and now we're just chilling here. Where do I do armored zombies? Like in the armored zombies place. There's only one place that armored zombies exist. In it's not instance, but in the quest version of the chaos temple. All right, chat, pause champ. We need to make a big deal about these last levels, okay? I will be sleeping in the max guild tonight. That is all 93 necromancy. Let's keep pushing, man. <gasps> I'm short. Okay, I've been short once, stop. Here we go. That is level 94 Necromancy coming in. 8 million XP down, 5 mil to go. We got this. One sitting, I want it. I want it. All of my gripes are like super minor. There are no like head scratcher decisions where I'm like, why did they do this? Like it all makes sense. 
And I think for the future of the game, it's so big that we have a skill that actually teaches you combat while taking you through the combat encounters in the game. Like, it's so cleverly designed, you know, sending you to a bunch of different bosses and, and having those experiences. And like, I just think it's awesome. Part of me would like to get the world first TFN kill too, but I think one thing at a time, dude. Like, let's get 99. That's level 95 necromancy done. And we're gonna keep pushing all the way to 99 in one sitting. Why am I not using sacrifice control? Uh, because it doesn't work. Teach me any prayers? Do we get the tier 99 prayer now? I do. Ruination. Beautiful. Unlock the ruination curse. 1 billion GP spent. It looks so good too. Yeah, we have ruination unlocked. Dude, I should be just hitting like a truck right now. That's level 96 necromancy team. I'm so tired. I forgot about the ult that I made. I've had a Kalg ult this whole time. His name is the Kalg Romancer. Look at him. He's ready. Why am I like this? That's actually crazy that I forgot about the existence of an account that I just made. I made this account like this week. I leveled it up. I trained summoning. I AFK our Glacier. Leave me alone. <gasps> Wait, he meleeed me from across. I'm not even. Okay, the Calgamancer is definitely gonna die here, but look at that buff. Oh yeah. Quick work for the Calgamancer. <laughs> Chat, we've crossed 10 million total XP. Three mil more to go. That's a lot of XP. No, I can do it though. That's 97. Two more levels, just keep pushing. All right, we're at the 24 hour mark. The PVMer is still PVMing. I mean, unless anything catastrophic changes, I should have this by like 200,000 XP. Because I've, I've, I've gained 300,000 XP on him so far. That's level 98. Final push. After 26 hours of continuous grinding in one singular sitting, that is level 99 necromancy. We sleep tonight in the max skill, dude. Come on. We absolutely cooked. Come on. One singular day. <laughs> this was a stupid idea. I, the last four hours were like physically sickening. <laughs> that is something I will most assuredly never do again in my life in one singular sitting we just absolutely cooked <laughs> that is 99 necromancy i believe i'm the third player to hit level 99. let's lobby and take a look at the high scores yeah there we go 99 necromancy oh that's so sick dude i can't believe we did that one single epic day of gaming. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today to this stream. My face hurts for being a part of this, for keeping chat active, for giving me tips, for cheering me on, for hyping me up, because this got really, really tough by the end, man. I was... I was exhausted. Show us the cape. I don't know where to buy it. I was absolutely exhausted by the end. And I just want to say, I could not have done this without you guys. So thank you all so much for cheering me on. The kind messages, the kind words, it genuinely means the world. The fact that only like two people crashed me the whole day, that's absolutely insane for the amount of people that were watching. Like I'm so proud and thankful for this community. It's just, it's just absolutely insane. It, it's so kind, it's so appreciated. I just want to say like, you guys are absolutely the stars of the show. Mod Sponge said loot from watching, loot from 10 hours of watching the RS guy find the cape vendor. You know what, Sponge? I'm going to thwart you and just buy from the Max Guild. All right, so now I do 10, 10 bill giveaway. Just trade me to enter. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have it either. Wait, where's the cape vendor? They took away the. He doesn't have one either. Oh, look. It's Mod Sponge. Spirit of accomplishment. Heck yeah. Dude, look at me. Okay, what's the perk to? Prides the effect of the alteration glyph during rituals. Wait, wait. That's really good. Wait, that's actually really good. So I get a free additional multiply two. 
That's really good. Okay, sorry. Put that on multiply two for tomorrow. Oh, dude, it's kind of drippy. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. It is kind of drip. Okay, ready? What an awesome skill. That's so cool. Hey, look, I can summon a friend. That's a sick emote. What do you mean lame? That's actually really cool. Look at him go. After 26 hours of straight gaming, we ended up being the third player to reach level 99 necromancy, and I was 12 minutes behind first. I feel absolutely amazing about that, and this is something I will never be doing ever again in my life. The fact that for periods of time throughout this, I was rank one on the high scores, that's just not something I ever expected, and I'm just absolutely shocked at how much fun I'm having with this new skill. I want to keep pushing for level 120 because that's the point where you get the most damage output and the most buffs. At the same time, I also want to take a little bit of time and smell the roses. I want to do the quests, I want to get 35,000 souls, and then in the next video, we're going to be taking on the first Necromancer. If you're enjoying the Necromancy content, leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more.